the next column is statistical what does this field do there are certain condition types that are statistical in nature so what does statistical mean it just means that it is not used in calculating the price cost is a very good example of statistical condition type what is cost let's take an example there is a product say an ipod or iphone an iphone is sold for 600 dollars right that's the contract fee price of an iphone say what is the cost price of it say 200 dollars that's the amount that it costs apple to make an iphone like the manufacturing costs overhead all of it put together where is the cost price of the product maintained in the material master in either the accounting or the costing views so we have seen this in the material master chapter coming back to pricing when apple is selling an iphone there is a price there could be discounts taxes surcharges and finally there is a cost condition type also it's called vprs if you are wondering why is a cost needed in a sales order well that's a good question the customer need not know what the cost of an iphone is right he doesn't bother nor does apple bother to tell the customer so even to calculate the price of an iphone the cost is immaterial so why do we have the cost there cost can be used to do internal calculations nothing that the customer needs to know about for example what is the profit margin on an iphone take the price remove discounts remove tax also remove the cost from it and that will give you apple's profit margin very simple right you can also use it for other internal calculations profit calculation is probably the easiest to understand and by the way what happens if you don't make it statistical it will be either subtracted or added to the total the customer should pay you don't want cost to come into the pricing calculations of the cost that the customer needs to pay so to mute this field from the pricing computation meaning to ensure that this condition type is not affected in the pricing you make it statistical however like discussed we can use it for other internal calculations let me give you another example say there are two condition types z123 z124 both of them are set as pricing one is 100 and z124 is based on z123 one is dependent on the other say 124 is 95% of 123 what is the value of z124 now 95 but you don't want z123 to be used in pricing so you don't want 100 plus 95 or 100 minus 95 the value 100 here is only used to arrive at the actual price which is 95 and that's the only price that the customer needs to know he doesn't bother about the 100 so one example of this kind of scenario is um, the intercompany scenario so when you are transferring goods from one company code to the other there will be some overhead involved right and what will be the price the buying company code will pay the selling company code there are a couple of different ways to do it but one standard way of doing this is called cost plus the cost price of a material is 100 just put a small markup over it to cover for the overheads say 10% how do you do this there will be vprs 
this will compute the cost price but that's not the actual price right that we want to sell to the buying company it will be marked as statistical the actual price is say 10% above it so you'll have a new condition type just like rz124 that will compute the actual price as 110% of VPRS because we want 10% margin. So anything you mark as statistical will only be a dummy condition type. It will not affect pricing. Think of it like a subtotal. But it will not affect your main pricing. It's used to calculate something else. So in this case, VPRS will be marked as statistical but there is a, there will be another condition type that will use the value in VPRS to compute something else. It could be price, it could be whatever. Next is the print flag. It's almost never used, so don't worry about the print flag. Subtotal, we've already talked about it. 